Hello class, this is a video tutorial on three-dimensional trigonometry, part two. 3D trig doesn't present anything new, it's just applying um, trig concepts in a 3D perspective. So I'll just take you through a few examples of those. Here we go. Find the angle between a slanted edge and the base of a square pyramid of height 8 meters and base side length of eight, uh, 12 meters. Well, first we need to draw a square pyramid with height of eight and the base length of 12. Okay, so let's draw that out. Um, draw a square base. There's a reason why I'm making it angled We'll take the middle of this so that that's the top of the pyramid. And there is our pyramid. There we are. I'm going to make this a little bit easier to see, make this one thinner. And I'll thicken these lengths here. Right, so I hope that gave a clear description, a uh, clear diagram, sorry, of the description that we have. Now we have the base length of 12. So these sides of the triangle are 12 and the height of the pyramid is eight meters. So from the top to the center of the base, that height is eight. Um, let's see if I can't make that into orange. Let's do that again. That's eight meters high. So the angle we are looking for is between the slanted edge, so this edge here, and the base of slanted edge, edge in the base of the square pyramid. So we want this angle here. Let me draw this out so you can see it. So we have a 90 degree angle like that. And we want that angle there. So let me draw this out so we can see a little bit better. The triangle we're looking for is actually that triangle here. And that is the angle. This is height of eight. And the angle we're looking for is here. Now, this poses a new problem because we need to figure out what the length is. Well, I can see that from this diagonal to that diagonal is the result of the Pythagoras theorem from 12 and 12. So we have a smaller sub problem to figure out what that length is. So here we go. This is 12. That's 12. And we're looking for this length here. It's x squared. Oops. x squared is equal to 12 squared plus 12 squared. That's 12 squared plus 12 squared. Two hundred and eighty-eight. I'm going to take the square root of two eighty-eight. So x is equal to. I'm actually going to leave it as two eighty-eight there. And if we simplify this, let's see if I can halve this. Oh, sorry, divided by four. Good. This this will give me two root seventy two. Now the reason why I did that because now this entire diagonal is two root seventy two, but what we want only takes it halfway stops halfway here which means this length here is 
root 72. It's halfway of the full diagonal of that length. Okay, so from here we can now figure out what that angle is. So tan theta is 8 on root, root 72. And theta is equal to tan of inverse, the inverse tan, sorry, 8 on root 72. Let's figure out what this is. Let's do this to the nearest whole degree. Tan inverse 8 on 72 square root. That gives us 43 degrees to the nearest whole degree. Let's keep moving. From the same square pyramid, calculate the angle between the between the base and the triangular face. All right, so let's copy this out. And this time, let's try and draw what what the question is asking of us. Whoops. Get rid of these little markings. Actually, no, we need that. It's eight meters. So now the angle that we are looking for is actually between the center of this triangular face and the base. So we want this angle here. Okay, so let's draw this triangle out. We're looking for this angle. And we know that this is 8. And because that's in the center, this length here is half of 12, which is 6. That's very simple. Now we can figure out what this angle is. We can just do this as 10 of theta is equal to 8 over 6, which means theta is 10 inverse of 8 on 6. And we can use our calculator to figure this out. That's going to be tan inverse 8 on 6, 53 degrees. So I hope that gave you an insight into applying trigonometry in a 3D perspective. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.